obviously this is what you this is where you land when you just type into LinkedIn right so we're gonna go to my profile here and I'm gonna show you a couple things that you want to pay attention to and the first thing that I want you to think about is your headline okay a lot of people I see their headline a lot of people's headlines say I'm CEO or I'm an accountant or I'm an attorney People, what I want you to do when you write your LinkedIn profile is I want you to speak to the people that are reading it. I want it to be client facing. I don't, people don't care that you're CEO, right? They care what you can do to help them. So in this headline, which by the way is searchable by Google and which by the way comes up and I'll show you exactly what we were talking about before. I'll put my name in a Google search and I'll show you how it comes up and you'll see in this Google search and right here, like I said, the second thing that comes up is LinkedIn, but you can see my headline. Right, so you can read that headline right in the Google search before you even get into LinkedIn. So you definitely want to start off with a strong headline, and and you want to have a headline that's confidently telling people what you do. Right? So I'm just I was just really yeah. interested in seeing when you were searching for um, your profile, uh, sorry, your name on, on uh, Google. I noticed mm -hmm. that you know you mentioned before that you have over you know sixty thousand followers on Twitter. Yet the LinkedIn um, result came yeah. above. It did, yep. Really it does, yep. Yep, sixty-five thousand followers. It says here, and LinkedIn came. And I do not have sixty-five thousand LinkedIn connections, so LinkedIn came up higher. Now, if LinkedIn doesn't come up as higher for you, I do think that if you if you're active on LinkedIn, it's going to come up higher. If you're regularly posting and you're giving new content on LinkedIn, it's going to give Google more reasons to bring it up even higher. And you want that, right? Especially if you're taking the time to have a great profile, you want it to come up high because that's what people are going to check out, right? You want people to be confident. You want to be confident when people are checking you out. Okay, so so again, in your headline, you know, I, I often tell people when they're writing their headline, if you don't feel a little queasy when you hit send, then you haven't been confident enough in portraying yourself, right? So you don't, you know, you don't say I'm pretty good at this. You need to say I'm an expert, or like I say, I'm a successful social media strategist. You want to remember you're more expert than the people that you're helping. So you nobody's going to um, hire me if I say I'm pretty good at LinkedIn, right? So I, I I own the fact that I'm a LinkedIn expert, and I and I you know people that makes people want to hire me if they're looking at two profiles and one is confidently saying they're an expert and the other one saying I do this stuff you know which one are you going to hire right so you need to be confident and and really um really go out on a limb and telling people how great you are in this headline Does absolutely I think you know that's 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 part of your personal brand right you really want to make yeah. sure that you're positioning yourself as an expert in the eyes of your, your target customer. So Absolutely. writing this, it needs to be really, okay, what would my ideal customer want to see when they, they read a profile or they're looking to purchase from someone like me? Right. Right. So let's use like, um, I, I like to use like a, a financial planner as an example. If you're a financial planner, you and 40,000, 400,000 other people have that in their headline on LinkedIn. But if your headline says, I'm a financial planner that helps women over 50 or over 60 transition from a salary to retirement, now you've got people listening, right? Now you're telling them what you're doing, like who you help and how you help them. And that's and now you're gonna have people click on that. So think about what you do and what your special sauce is that you can put in this headline to attract people to want to click on it. I'm just looking at this headline now as well, and I just normally a lot of people use it for their their title, maybe their their mm -hmm. um, founder or, or um, you know marketing associate or uh, whatever that might be in that area. So they're used to maybe putting one, two, maybe three words uh, in that area. I mean. I can see that you've got um, three lines, multiple words. Yeah. What, what's the recommendation? So here's the thing, Google reads this section. And I want Google to bring people to my profile. So I'm gonna feed Google as much as I can. I'm gonna think about what are people searching for that I wanna come up as the search result. And I'm gonna use those words in my headline and I'm gonna give Google as much as I can to work with, right? So if somebody's searching for a LinkedIn speaker on Google, I want them to bring up my LinkedIn profile, right? Or a social media speaker or a social media strategist. So, so you know, you don't wanna waste any opportunity to give more to give Google more reasons to bring people to your profile and LinkedIn LinkedIn is also a powerful search engine in and of itself so even if they're just searching within LinkedIn for a LinkedIn expert or a LinkedIn speaker I want my profile to come up so so you want to use those as many of those words as you can in the in the areas that are searchable so uh, just in that in that area is there a minimum maximum amount of um, there is I don't know I don't actually know the number this is about the maximum 
I would be surprised if there's more than three or four characters more than this. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll notice I put the little stars in to kind of make it pop a little. I just did that because I, you know, I teach this stuff, so I, I show people, you know, how to do this, as you can see in my headline. Um, so I teach people how to do this, and sometimes, you know, you want to just stand out from the crowd a little bit, so it's okay to use these little extra characters. Um, I don't know the exact number, but you want to keep going until they, until they knock you out, and then you want to keep tweaking it until you can use as many characters as you can. Okay, and I think it's important not to just think about it for a search engine. Uh, I mean, it's great to be found, but then it's also super important to, you know, the, the reader or that target customer to make sure that right. you know, you're positioned to, in, in their eyes as an expert and doesn't look too, yeah. it needs to look natural. And that's probably more important than, than this keywords. I agree. If you can use the keywords, use them. But more importantly, more people are going to find this because they searched for you or they knew you or they got your business card or you connected with them because you're in the same business group, right? More people are going to see your profile that way than are going to find you from a Google search or a LinkedIn search. So make sure that you're exactly right, Liam. Make sure that you're telling people how you can help them, most importantly.